Hey there everyone, Chrissy here, and I'm gonna show you how to actually add some foil to your stamping. Now this doesn't work with every stamp, so I'd recommend you kind of testing it first before you just go ahead and create a project. You might wanna do a couple test stamps off to the side. It really just kind of depends upon um, how much coverage there is on the stamp. So I use some Watermark ink, that's Versamark ink, and then I heat embossed it. I used um, clear embossing powder, but you can use a different color. I, I haven't tested it, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. You could probably use white or any other color you want. And then I just used the heat gun. Once it was uh, completely embossed, um, I went and I cut a piece of foil. This is a wild dandelion foil from Gina K Designs that she created exclu exclusively for Thermal Web. And I just went and I put it in my laminator. Now I'm taking another Gina K die and using, uh, there's like a little rubber mat you can get. I actually embossed the paper instead of die cutting it. And you can see now I actually also pulled off that foil. And some of it didn't catch, and that's what I'm talking about, is some of, it actually works better with stamps that are a little bit thinner, not quite as thick, but you can easily fix it by um, adding the deco foil glue pen, like I just did, and then you can just put some foil on it. Um, and you can also, if you don't want to stamp, you can just use that pen to draw things. Um, if you're a good artist or anything, or you have really nice brush calligraphy or anything like that, use that pen instead of a stamp. But I wanted to use the stamps because I am not so hot at brush calligraphy yet. And um, then I just went and I used two different inks from the um, Gina K collection. And you can see it's some of it's kind of, it kind of looks like a shadow. What I did is um, I did two different colors at once and I used um, my Misty tool. So everything was aligned perfectly. I used the um, wild, da wild Dandelion, which was also the same color as the foil along with the Sweet Mango. And then I used the Grass Green for the pineapple leaves and just trimmed it out. So this is what I was talking about. You can kind of see um, how it's embossed. I did not die cut. That just is another way to stretch your dies further. Then I had also stamped a little sentiment. I thought that this pineapple and the little sign and everything was super summery. I tried to use all summery colors, and I did this three different times. I just did the one on camera. I did two others off camera just to kind of show um, the different stamps. You can kind of make a bunch that are the same style all at once just using different stamps. So I used the same colors, the same paper, and everything, but I just used a couple different stamps from the same stamp set. So now I'm using 3D foam strips. These are great. Um, I love my 3D foam. I think I use 3D foam on every card. The strips make it nice and easy because you literally just lay out the foam and cut it and boom, you're done. You don't have to pull off all the squares. The squares were great for smaller items like the pineapple that I'm going to put on there. Um, but when you're using like when you're creating card bases and stuff, I think the foam strips work really, really well. It's a lot faster. And you can see here I'm using the little squares. I think that works better than the foam. Um, you can certainly use the foam to cut it apart, but each item kind of works for its own thing. So um, I love having all of that foam and stuff in my little crafting arsenal. It makes everything easier. So, and you can see too that I'm using the different sizes as well for the pineapple. You can trim it. I trimmed it for the little banner. So it, it's a really versatile project or item I should say. So now I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to assemble the rest of my card and I put the pineapple there and I'm just going to put that little welcome and you can see the foil. Um, it, it really does pop. I guess on camera you can't see it as well but in person all three of these really really just shine. They are, they're so shimmery. They look great. So thanks for stopping by today. Make sure to use hashtag deco foil and hashtag thermal web so we can find you online. Thanks.